What's up, everybody? You may or may not have heard recently, but the villages just announced another area uh, called Secret Promise. Well, it was called Secret Promise. Now it's not going to be called that. This is over just east and uh, south, south and southeast of the Turnpike and Central Parkway, which you just saw on the screen there. And then in the top left corner, you can see uh, Lake Denham, Dabney, and those two areas right there, the top left. And then up in the middle, kind of that break in the trees, you have Okahumpka. I'll put an arrow on that real quick, too. We're kind of headed north, northeast at this point, flying directly over the former known Secret Promise area. Secret Promise was a development that had been purchased by a different uh, company and was going to be built on with several housing areas and all that kind of stuff. It was purchased years ago, and recently the villages just acknowledged that they purchased it. So tons of swampy areas on this property, which you can see that we're flying over right now. I'm sure that they will leave the majority of these untouched or at least in the middle of the neighborhoods and surrounded, kind of like a preserve, just to leave these areas as full of nature as they can. So according to the villagesnews.com, a site plan for up to 3,700 homes, uh, close to 1,500 acres in the village of Southern Oaks, was recommended for approval by the special mag magistrate um, at a Wildwood Planning and Zoning Board meeting. This is recently. Uh, this, this is the property we're flying over now in this general area. And... It's, it says that the owners of this property are the Villages Development Company, which currently, if you look it up, has close to $3 million in projects going on, four active projects right now. One of them is Hacienda Hills. So the site plan that they put up doesn't have any specifics so far. The one that they posted on Villages News doesn't have any uh, specifics about amenities or anything like that. And just like what the villagesnews.com said is that there's no roadways, interior design, or anything like that on the map. Uh, they won't come out with that for a while until they release it. It still has to be approved by the city commission, and that'll come up soon um, at one of their meetings. Nearly 50,000 homes south of State Road 44 have been approved so far by uh, Wildwood, which is absolutely insane. It will match the area north of 44 and is going to reach all the way down to Center Hill. Uh, Center Hill is kind of on the way to Webster, Bushnell, all that kind of stuff. So currently you can see that we are here and the area center hill is right down here close to Webster and then you have the Middleton area here just to give you an idea of where we are at on the map. You can see how vast this area is and they haven't even really touched Middleton hardly at all. You can also see a lot of the water and bodies of water that are in this area and you can see that based off of the video here. Look at all the little, I would call them puddles, but basically compared to the area, they're swampy slash marshlands, whatever you'd like to call them. And now we're turning toward the Eastport South kind of Middleton area from the turnpike. So the turnpike's behind us and we are looking south. You can see a lot of marshland in this area. So they're going to have quite a bit of fill dirt. And actually Deluna looks similar to this. And Deluna, I believe, has 
one marshy area, maybe two, and then they have that uh, electric running through the middle, and they have the like kind of like a ditch where the water runs through as well. I mean, you can see as so as far as you can see here, that is villages owned. It is going down a long ways. It looks kind of close on the Google map when you take a look, but in all reality, this is a lot of property that they have bought up and own. Middleton, they haven't even started on a third of the homes yet. Uh, as far as I know, I think there's three phases. Don't quote me on that. This is all, again, like uh, going off of what I read several months ago. And honestly, Dom Wiley usually has uh, a lot more detailed information. I just kind of fly the areas and talk about what I see and go with what I feel, if you know what I mean. Goldwing Nut, he uh, does a lot more detailed stuff, and I would suggest you watch some of his videos as well to get a better idea. So in the top right there, you can see that is the Eastport and Middleton area to the south. They haven't obviously started anything in here, and this is all cows and farmland. You can see some of the cows down there underneath. Even Fenny was farmland and cows, and that that area had a working spring on it that the cows were drinking out of. I've talked this, I've talked about this in several other videos, and they redid that whole spring and made it. Uh, you can walk on the paths around it. So I would suggest there's probably going to be something similar here. A lot of walking paths, a lot of nature. You can see the old Florida oak trees, and I would assume they're going to keep most of that, and you'll probably see a lot nicer landscape. And they haven't mentioned where they're putting the, I would call it, call it like a sand-type bar. They have these water parks for adults, I would say they're called. Um, basically a beach where you can swim up to the bar and get drinks and the Villages was on the list to get one put in, so they haven't marked that out yet. I'd be interested to see when that's going to happen and where it could be in this new area. Who knows? I would assume it's going to be somewhere in this area because you have the Middleton area with the families and that type of stuff as well. So who knows? Maybe they're going to get into some real crazy stuff. Here's a good look at some of the areas that they are starting to move some things into. And you'll be able to see some more of this. There are power lines that run through here. I'm wondering if they're going to have to add to the power grid, kind of like they did down in the Citrus Grove area, or if there is enough infrastructure here for it to be okay. There is a water treatment plant down by Middleton as well. So I would assume they'll be going off of that. Again, you can see all the water. There's just a ton of water in this area, low-lying areas. So if they're going to build up, and it always makes me wonder, and a lot of people ask, what about sinkholes? And the villages doesn't have sinkholes. They call them depressions. So you don't have to worry about the sinkholes, but you might have to think about the depressions. There was one in a neighborhood that keeps popping up that they were working on not too long ago. And I think that they have put in some time and effort on that one. I, I'm not sure if they filled that in yet, but or if the construction's done yet, but they were working on that. And then you have... A lot of this area is starting. Uh, you can see the golf cart. I don't know what you would call it, drive-through right there <laughs> on the right-hand side of the screen. 
That's what it, that is. They'll bury that in the golf and regular traffic will drive over that and the golf carts will drive underneath. So you can see some of that stuff. This is Central Parkway here. Central Parkway is the old 470 that goes over the turnpike. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. You've seen a little bit more. You see where Secret Promise is or where it was supposed to be built, which is now owned by the villages. And uh, I'd be willing to bet you're going to see some construction popping up here. The Fed's uh, staying steady on rates, and they might drop next year. So we're going to see some more. Hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you for watching, and uh, hope to see you in the next one.